Okay, so today I want to show you a problem. It's a well-known problem. It's called Blinky and it happens sometimes when you just want to turn on your headrush pedal board. I asked a headrush just to help me with this problem, but they didn't respond and I don't know what to do so I decided to just check what's inside the headrush pedal board keep in mind that this is a professional quad core effects board and uh, I thought that it would serve me for years producer claimed that this pedal board is durable and I can get it on stage at any time and it will be working and I also read that this has all connections that I need, so just look inside. I opened the headrush pedal board and saw a Radxarok microcontroller. You can see what's the use of this, but as you see the price you can deduct that this is not a fine quality microcontroller, it can be called as high level of uh, Raspberry Pi or something like Arduino, so this is not a high tech anytime. So let's look what's on the board of Headrush. We've got a SATA connector when you can connect the disk, I don't know why they have it left. You've got also USB hubs, more USB hubs, a strange connector, ooh, is the Ethernet connector. And uh, here is the look of the power on button and the overlook of the all board. When I bought this pedal board I thought that this will serve me as my main amp modeler for years. I'm very disappointed. I think I got tricked because this FX board is based on a low price, actually discontinued microcontroller used also in cheap Chinese tablets. This makes actually the service of this device very hard and nearly impossible. If you want to buy some kind of pedal board, just think about this video. It's up to you.